Lions. Well, Ditka said he would stay on with the team only if he can control it because, quote, we've hit rock bottom. His final press conference was attended by over 80 members of the media and his entire coaching staff. I try to do this with class. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Scripture tells you that all things shall pass. This too shall pass. Regrets, just a few. But too few to remember. I can't sing it quite as good as he did. 32 years. And I have a lot of people to thank. You know, I have a lot of coaches uh, that I worked for over the years as a player, as assistant coach. Coach, I have to thank Coach Hallis. I guess you got to thank the players the most because they make it happen. I was blessed. I came here and I inherited a hell of a football team. I land on my feet. There's no problem about that. I don't worry about that. I worry about how this organization is perceived. I believe it will go forward. It will try to do the things necessary to make the adjustments to get through the 90s the way it should. Uh, I would hope that. It's, it's pretty hard to erase 17 years. How much else I can say, but thank you. I appreciate it, and uh, this too shall pass. I'm no special deal. Mike Disk is a guy that came out of Aliquippa. You understand? Figure this out. Time out. Let me tell you one thing, and I want to get on it. Came out of Aliquippa, 1957, as a high school football player, went to the University of Pittsburgh, and my life has been a miracle since because of this game. No regrets. No regrets. That's what I try to tell you downstairs. And if I had the regrets, there are very few. And people say, well, you coach the wrong way, you do this. It'll never change. I, I don't apologize. I enjoyed every bit of it. I appreciate it. The fans have been fantastic. Uh, you guys have been, you've had your moments. <laughs> I've loved you, and then sometimes uh, you've hated me, but that, that's life. Hey, I understand that, but uh, I'm not going to apologize. It's been fun. Mike's ride there. Gotta go. Team owner Mike McCaskey has reportedly put the playbooks from all the Chicago coaches under lock and key until Mike Ditka's replacement is found. Among the possible successors include running back's coach. Thought, and he said it on television. How many people on television don't really say what they're thinking? I can only think of a couple. And he's going to go down in history in Chicago, I think, maybe as the Archie Bunker of Chicago, if I can put <laughs> it in that terms, because what he thought, he said he didn't always say the right things, but he said what he felt. And you know, the more I thought about it, the more we talked about it, and of course we have this Super Bowl trophy right here. Uh, this will be the legacy of Mike Ditka. George Hallis brought him here to bring back the winning spirit. He did that. He won 116 games over, over 10 years, and he was a success here. I think they made a big mistake in firing him. But the more I think about it, I think maybe it's a blessing in disguise. He was never on the same page with Mike McCaskey. And with the McCaskey family's philosophy, they didn't participate in Plan B free agency. They do not spend the money that's going to be needed to spend. There's going to be a lot of free agents floating around. And if you go by the history of the Chicago Bears, they're not going to spend that money. And no matter what, they're not going to have a real good football team this coming year. So what did Mike Ditka have to gain by staying another year? He was going to probably have another losing year. Now he has a, a, a year's contract to be a consultant, and he can uh, survey the field, get a job where he can maybe have some control. And he says if he gets a chance to climb the mountain again, he is going to do that. He'll always be a Chicago Bear. We all know that. The Bear is in his heart. He'll always be a Bear. He'll always be a Chicago Bear a lot more than M Mike McCaskey will ever be. I can tell you that. All right. Johnny Morris, not many people know Mike Dicka better than, than you as a uh, co-player and, of course, a man who covered him for, what, 30 years, Howard, something like that, all told between playing and covering. and. Uh, I